Hi everyone, Joy here with the blog Aging Well with Joy. I have just completed my second Morpheus 8 treatment and I thought that I would tell you today about that experience. It is my day to film and I cannot wear any makeup, so I thought I'll just talk to you about my treatment and then you'll understand why I am not wearing makeup. Good morning. So it is the morning after my second Morpheus treatment. And before I wash my face and put on the serums or anything, I wanted to show you what my face and neck actually look like. So I have not done anything yet, obviously. Um, so my skin is still slightly red. Um, and I'm standing in front of a window, so hopefully you can see there are still some track marks on my face um, and on my forehead from the needling. My chin is still really red, um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like the next day. Of course, last night I was bright red, but today it looks much better. I didn't have any bruising this time. Last time the underneath of both of my eyes bruised, but that didn't happen this, one, this time for some reason. So I do of course have eye makeup on and lip gloss, but I have no makeup on my face or my throat. And the redness and the lines that you're seeing there are a result of the Morpheus 8 treatment. So nothing to be concerned about. Um, so first I just wanted to tell you why I chose to get this treatment. So I haven't done a lot of treatments on myself. I haven't done anything invasive. I am 46 but I have a lot of skin laxity and I think that that is a combination of both years of sun exposure, you know, laying in the sun um, when I was in my 20s and, and also genetics. The older people in my family don't often have chins. They generally go from the chin to the chest. Um, and so I am sort of fighting against that um, as well as the laxity in my under eye areas, which you can see very well when I dip my head at all. So my concerns in, um, that I'm trying to address with the Morpheus 8 treatment, which is a combination of microneedling and radio frequency together. So my major area of concerns or my jawline where I have a lot of drooping, especially like right in here, um, where my face has sort of fallen. And then under, you know, if I turn sideways, you can see that I definitely have a double chin. This time last year, I actually had a cool sculpting treatment um, because I was going to try to do several cool sculpting treatments and see if that helped. I had done some research on it. It seemed like a good option. So I went and I had that done and it was pretty expensive. And I didn't have any results from it, like like zero, <laughs> for a long time anyway. Which, um, you know, I understand that with these types of procedures where they're non-invasive, you're not going to get the drastic results you would with some sort of surgery. Um, I very much understand that. However, even when I went back for my follow-up pictures at the Medi Spa, even the lady who took my picture said, yeah, I don't see any results. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I started looking into other treatments um, that I might be able to do that might have a better result in myself. The Medi Spa where I go for some of my other things offered Morpheus 8. And so I talked to the owner about that and she, um, she highly recommended it for me and thought it would be great. And I'm actually doing a combination of Morpheus 8 and Evoke for the face. So, I'll talk about Evoke separately, but today I really wanna focus on the Morpheus 8 treatment. I thought that I would just give you a little summary of what the website says, um, just in case you aren't familiar with what this type of technology is. It says Morpheus 8 is a popular RF fractional solution for subdernal remodeling. It's for face soft tissue and small treatment areas. It delivers fractional resurfacing and subdermal treatments, heating tissue up to five millimeters to stimulate collagen production. So if you know anything about microneedling, you know that most microneedling, um, the needles are much more shallow than that. So Morpheus 8 goes four millimeters deep with your first round. Um, as they do your first round on your skin, it's four millimeters. And then the needle changes and it gets less and less each time, each pass over your face and neck that they do. 
Um, my midi spa does four passes and they start at the four millimeters and then it gets less each time. And as the needles are going into your skin, there's also heat. So what you're doing, you're getting that the, the benefits of the microneedling, so that injury that causes collagen production, and then you're also getting the heat that goes as deep as five millimeters. So you've got the four millimeters of the needle and then the heat is actually penetrating another millimeter. So it helps with lines and wrinkles, it helps with um, discoloration and scarring. And then the radio frequency helps with skin tightening, which is which is what I'm looking for all in this area. So I, I'm definitely gonna do a second part to this video when I finish my third treatment. They say that it takes three treatments to really see the results you want. So when I'm finished with that one, I'm gonna do a follow-up video that shows, you know, my very befores from the beginning to my very afters. So I will, I will be posting that in a couple months. So when I went into the procedure, they they immediately put numbing cream on you and then you sit for 45 minutes. You sit and you wait for that numbing cream to work. And then my Medi Spa also offers laughing gas. And um, I don't know the technical name for this. They've said it to me, I cannot pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. But basically, it just helps you feel not as concerned about the pain that you're going to feel. Um, and it definitely helps you get through the procedure. So when I researched this procedure, that this is not a painful procedure, that is not true, my friends. That is not true. This procedure was like a nine out of 10. Like it is painful. It is painful. Okay, so don't, <laughs> I went in there the first time thinking, oh, I read about this, it's pain-free, I'm gonna be golden. No, no, that is not the reality of this treatment, okay? It is painful. And so when they first start, it's not as bad because you're very numb from the numbing cream, but as they make more passes and those needles go so deep, it is excruciating. <laughs> and so I sucked down a lot of laughing gas. But the, you know, the way I look at it is it's painful. It, it's 30 minutes of painful and then you have results. So, you know, it's sort of like childbirth. You go through the pain, but then you have the baby. So um, I'm trying to think of it that way. You know, by today, um, you can still see the marks on my, my face. So I am going to post a picture here of what I looked like immediately following my first procedure. Um, because after this last procedure, it was too dark out for me to take a photo in my car, but um, this is what I looked like immediately following the first procedure. Um, you can tell I had some microneedling done. <laughs> so, and then um, of course, this is what I look like the day after. So it's not, it's not bad. The redness doesn't stay for the most part. Now, last time, the first time I had it done, I did bruise under both of my eyes. I had bruises under both of them. This time that didn't happen. I'm not sure why, but this time I actually have more track marks on, I don't know if you will be able to see them, but I actually have more track marks on my neck than I did the first time. Um, so here's a little video that I did after the first treatment of how I thought it felt and what I was thinking at that moment. Okay, so I have just gotten out of my first Morpheus appointment and this is what I look like and my face feels like it's on fire. Um, she said it's over a thousand stamps that she put on my face um, and immediately after she did a section she would put cooling cloths on it um, so of course now I'm leaving and I um, can't wait to get home and put some more cooling cloths on it it was a very painful procedure it was painful um, I had some laughing gas and um, held on to a stress ball the whole time but I got through it I'm excited to see what my results will be. So. so obviously I did choose to go back and have a second treatment and I have scheduled my third treatment so you can get through it um, because I did see results and that's the thing is it, it, they're not you know very apparent. I don't think anybody else has noticed but I've noticed that my chin, my double chin has tightened some. 
So I am excited to see what's going to happen after this second treatment and then the third treatment. And of course, like I said, I will be doing follow-up videos to show you what my final results are. But even from prior to this last treatment to this morning, I already can see a little bit of a difference with the skin tightening in my chin area. So I'm sorry I don't have any makeup on. Um, this is the real me, you know, this is my real skin. It is scarred um, and it is aging. And I do have serums on, I should note that. I do, I did do my skincare. So the Medispa I go to actually gives me a little packet of skincare that you use and it has instructions on what to use on what days following the procedure. So I'm not allowed to put makeup on my face, but I am allowed to, you know, they have like a face wash and, and some serums and growth factors and stuff that you put on in the days following the procedure. So I do have that on my face and that's why I'm glowing like a light bulb. <laughs> so that is my experience with Morpheus 8 so far. I'm excited to see what the results will be and I hope that you'll check back in a couple months and um, we'll be able to celebrate some good results. And I hope that if you are considering doing something like this, like the Morpheus 8 treatment, that this video gave you some insight and some good information. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.